Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. It's Travis here with JT Wealth. And in today's video, we are gonna be talking about how to triple your money in the next five years. So let's get into it. All right, everybody, like I said, welcome back. Thank you so much for checking out the video. And like I said, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to potentially triple your money in the next five years. That, of course, is coming from ARK Invest's Kathy Wood referencing her own portfolio of ETFs. And one thing I want to highlight here right in the beginning of the video, before the disclaimers, before I mention everything in the links down below, I want to remind you guys that a couple months ago when Bitcoin and ARK and everything else was skyrocketing and prices were at all-time highs, Everybody was super excited about the stock market and everybody was thinking to themselves, man, I wish I had just bought into Bitcoin or bought into ARK ETF six months ago, a year ago, whatever the case may be, which is a very normal FOMO approach to investing. A lot of people get emotional and wish they had gotten in before they see those massive spikes. But this is the opportune time to do just that. Buy in when the stocks you were looking at three, four, five months ago at those all-time highs are now at much more affordable prices. So if you were ever one of those people, and I know I have been one of those people in the past who said, man, I really wish I had bought into this company or bought more of this company, this might be the perfect opportunity for you to do just that. And as always, before we get into the article, don't forget to check out the links in the description section down below where you can consider joining our Patreon group where you'll have access to the Discord chat room where you can ask all sorts of questions, get direct answers from myself, from Julie, from other people involved with JT Wealth through that chat group. Or if you're looking to start a new brokerage account, there's links for that as well. And all of that really helps out the channel and helps us provide this information for you guys. So we appreciate it when you use them. Let's get right into the Reuters article talking about ARK and Kathy Woods. And that article is titled, No Inflation Fears Here, Arks Woods Says Portfolio Should Triple in Five Years. The author goes on to say lower prices for growth stocks as a result of the inflation-driven sell-off that began in February should mean that ARK Investments portfolios should see a more than tripling over the next five years, Star Fund manager and firm founder Kathy Woods said in a webinar on Tuesday. So Wood, who became the face of the outsized rally in tech stocks such as Zoom Video Communications and electronic vehicle maker Tesla during the whole mess last year, said that falling lumber and copper prices signal that the market is beginning to see signs that the risks are overblown from inflation. Woods then kind of goes on to talk about how a lot of people are shying away from the more innovative strategies that ARK employs in favor of more value-based or SPAC-type hype stocks. And you can see that here where she says they're moving into opportunistic investment plays like SPACs which are underperforming the S&P 500. Inflation fears weighing on the growth stock industry has prompted investors to rotate into the so-called value stock sectors. But the Russell 1000 value index is up nearly 18% for the year, while the Russell 1000 growth index is only up 7% over the same time. So perhaps the assumption there is that once this cycle is over and people revert back to more of the growth in tech stocks, that value shift will go right back into the techs and you'll see that significant growth again. So let's take a look at ARK's flagship ETF, ARKK. I pulled this maybe an hour or so ago and ARK-K was trading at about $115.52, which downed significantly from the 52-week range high at $159.70. So again, if you believed in ARK-K at $160, you should be really excited about the opportunity to get into the same ETF for $1.15. And now let's take a look at some of the actual stocks held within ARK's ETFs. So this article came out of Investor's Business Daily, and it's titled ARK Invest Stocks to Buy and Watch, Six Stops That Kathy Woods, uh, Six Stocks That Kathy Woods ARK ETF Owns. And here you can see they're talking about how ARK Invest's ETF were some of the hottest funds in 2020. And we're gonna look at six of those stocks involved in the ARK ETF, and that is Coinbase, DraftKings, Square, Teladoc Health, Tesla, and Zoom Video. And to give you an idea of what weight each of those has within the RK ETF, check out this picture. Here you can see each of them broken down into their weight within the RK ETF. Tesla at about 10.3%, Teladoc 6.1%, Square 4.7%, Zoom Video at 4.2%, Coinbase 3.5%, and DraftKings at 1.9%, all of course within that RK ETF. 
So if you're me and you're anticipating an ETF fund growing by threefold in the next five years, you might want to take a look at some of the serious stocks within the ETF, which is those six stocks, right? So let's take a look at what analysts are thinking is going to occur in the next 12 months for each of these six stocks individually. We'll start right off with Tesla. This comes, of course, right from the Tip Ranks website. And analysts are giving it a hold rating with an average buy price of $639.81 in the next 12 months, which shows a 4.9% upside. Of course, the high-end rating for Tesla is $1,080 in the next 12 months. And of course, try to remember, ARK has given a $3,000 per share price for the Tesla stock by the year 2025. Next on the list, we have Teladoc, and that is showing an average price today of $154.30 when I pulled this image, but the analyst price target is a moderate buy with a 12-month estimate of $231.26, which right now is of almost a 50% upside. And of course, I really do believe in on-demand medicine, telehealth, that whole digital aspect of avoiding a doctor's office if you don't need it, just being able to get your prescriptions or maybe do a Zoom call with your RN, your doctor, whatever the case may be. I really do see a lot of value in Teladoc Health in the short term and the long term. Third on our list is Square, which is showing a $219.45 stock price earlier this afternoon with an average 12 month projected price at 286.87, which is almost a 31% upside. And of course that high is showing $380 per share. Square of course is a digital payment and now cryptocurrency leader in the market. When Square got involved in Bitcoin, they ended up making some large purchases. And as of right now, Bitcoin makes up about 5% of all of Square's assets. Next on our list is Zoom Video, and that is showing at about 363.80 earlier this afternoon, with a 12-month projected price up almost 11.5% to $405.88, with a high estimate of 495 and a moderate buy rating. I think after the last year and a half or so, there isn't anybody out there who doesn't know who Zoom is and referencing teleconferences and the like. But Zoom's stock is still down 42% off its 52-week high. And as of June 1st, they did just beat estimates on their most recent earnings report. So there is a lot in store for Zoom in the near future if they were able to recover to that 52-week high and surpass it. Next on our list is Coinbase Global, and they're showing 222.75 earlier with an average analyst moderate buy of 388.86. But you can see that high rating of $650 a share. Just the average rating in the next 12 months is almost a 75% upside. If you're a believer in crypto at all, Bear in mind, Coinbase came out at an IPO price of $250 a share. So right now, today, you can still buy into Coinbase at a cheaper price than everybody who fought to get in on the IPO day at $250. Now, last but not least, DraftKings, showing today at about $53.44 with a strong buy analyst rating for the next 12 months of $69.08, almost a 30% upside. Of course, if you believe in that high end, you're looking at almost $105 per share. So DraftKings, of course, online gaming, digital fantasy play, that whole thing, right? But it is taking mass advantage of expanding legalization for online gambling in the US, which is where DraftKings will continue making its ground. So to recap, if you believe that the inflation fears are a little bit overdone, that most people who've pushed into value stocks are eventually going to revert back to growth stocks, and that ARK K can in fact triple its price in the next five years via utilizing these six companies and expecting their massive growth, then I really do believe in not just the six companies, but ARK's ARK K ETF as well. But as always, this is not investment advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not your financial advisor. Nothing I'm telling you here today is designed for you to make a purchase or for you to sell a stock. It is just for information and entertainment purposes only. But let me know in the comment section what you guys think about ARK K, what you think about the whole law of ARK ETFs and the six companies that we mentioned today. Are you holding them? Is this something you're considering buying? Did you miss out on buying them when the FOMO was happening and they were all at all time highs? And do you consider this to be a better buying opportunity? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Always a pleasure. And until next time, bottoms up.